Hey guys, welcome back to Total Justice Game. This is Taryn Mophead Jones with a deck profile of Sony oh, no. Assassin. Alright, today presenting you is the super good fun champion of the world, Taryn Lovegood Douchebag. Alright, take it away, Taryn. Hello guys, it's Taryn from Total Justice Gaming. So today we're showing Oni deck profile with the new from the newest set. That was that was okay. So obviously we're gonna have the newest Kitty as the buddy. One super good only. No okay, more well, than one super good. Okay. Obviously he's the buddy just because of the fact of he's the main card you want out on the field. He's really good. So we play him at I said really good. Oh, if you're gonna huh. say good every five seconds. I'm not gonna say good every face. five seconds. No. I'm, so we play four of him just because obviously he's the buddy. So we want to max him out as much as possible and being able to bring him out as much as possible. Uh, he is a pay two gauge on call. Bleh. He's pay two gauge. At the end, at the beginning of your turn, you blow up the enemy's board and deal damage for every card you blow up. You only blow up monsters, though, not items. Uh, he has the overkill ability of pay one gauge when a monster on your side of the field will be destroyed. Uh, choose a card on the field, and for the rest of that turn, it cannot be destroyed. Next, we play two of the original Kitty just because we still need that uh, extra damage. Just because this deck, it's gotten a lot slower now with the new meta, so we just need to try to get as much effect damage out as possible while still being consistent on our ambushes. He is pay to gauge when this card enters the field, blow it up, and if it enters on the field with ambush, you deal damage equal to the size of the monster that you blew up. He has ambush and double attack. Next we play four of Ibuki's, Ibuki's right hand man, Kid Ibakari. He is a, you, have, you can only call him if you have an item equipped. You put the top five cards of your deck under, you put the top five cards of the deck upside down into his soul. And then you pay two gauge. He has move and with 731. He's just a he's just a really decent card to be able to start out on because like you never know what you're gonna get. You could get like three of the spell that says okay I gain three life or three of the spell I gain gauge. It's just you don't know what you're gonna get and with this deck you want to be able to continuously be able to bring out other stuff just to try and keep yourself alive. Next we play three red oni lady Krenna. Uh, she is a pay one gauge. When this card enters the field, you grab one ambush from the drop zone and then add it to your hand. Then, if she was called by ambush, you can put one card from your hand into the soul. She has ambush and move. Uh, a really good combo to play with this is to say if you have him on the field, you can put her into the soul. So, say you still have the overkill, you can just let him die, bring out her, and then add that back into hand and then put him back into soul. That way, you just and then if she dies. And then if she dies, you bring him back out. That way you just... You're just really just playing loops with the opponent and just trying to mess with them. Because this deck is all about being mind game and just being one step ahead of your opponent. Next we play four of Fiend of Gaze, Io. If you don't have the right hand to start out on the game, or like if you do and you just don't have the sword, He's just the second best thing to start out on because he is an on call check top three and put it into an Oni Assassin. Put one into one card into an Oni Assassin on the field and put the rest of the bottom of the deck uh, in any order you wish. He has ambush. He is a one two one. He is pop, he's the optimal play if you want if you don't have an I'm to I'm to equip and just start out the game. Next, we play a one of a Fiend of Ailments, Affliction Oni. He costs one gauge to call. Uh, when you call him normally, you can just add a sword from your from the deck into your hand. That has to be Oni Assassin. Uh, and then if he's called by ambush, you can equip it the second you add it to hand, even if you're in the middle of battle. He's a 3-1-1 with ambush. 3-1-1 with penetrate. I said ambush, not penetrate. Don't kill me. Uh, next we play four of Lesser Fiend, I'm not even going to try to butcher that. Uh, he is, uh, if he's on call with Ambush, you draw a card. I'm an Ojaku. Thank you. Uh, 
He's size zero. He's just one of the best cards in the deck just because you can bring him out whenever you want, especially since your buddy is Ibuki. <laughs> Go away, Zach. <laughs> and he. Hey, you know anyway, He has ambush and is a 2 1 1. He, he's just a card that you want to bring out as much as possible just because you keep just adding cards to your hand. Is there five guys over here in Providence still? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next there, we play through, through three Blue Fiend Kid Kura. She is a 1-1-1, one, 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 size zero. That's a trap. That is a trap, yes. <laughs> That's a trap. That is a trap. There's three, and they're all hollow. Uh, when this card enters the field, choose a card on your opponent's field, and for the next, this turn, chosen card gets a minus of three power and three defense. Then if this card was called by ambush, they also lose a critical. This card is good if you're playing uh, against, like, anything that has Penetrate. <laughs> because Penetrate is one thing that can kill this deck easily. Just like everything else in this meta. Alright, I'm gonna be on. I got the LR Goku. I got the... Oh, you finally load when you reset your phone? Next, we move on to spells. For the first one we show, we play four Banquet of the, for the Unrighteous. This card... Anyway. The, you, this card's effect is choose and use one of the following two. You may only cast it once per turn. Uh, you can either put a card from the drop zone face down into the soul of a monster, or you can look at the top three of your deck and put one monster into your hand and put the rest into the drop. With this deck, there will be times where you whiff, just because the deck is mainly spells, but that's just, it's just a natural thing. You're just going to have to... Hopefully you can just find other ways to deal with that. But I mean, either way, like this is just a very strong card, and just like it can open up for a lot of plays. Like say, you have him on the field, and like the combo I showed earlier with uh, Kuraha, you put her into the bottom of the soul. Like it just sets up sets up all your plays optimally to however you want. It's just a very strong card, and I recommend. I, four or minimum three of in any deck. Next we play four Hiding Oni. The reason we play four is it is our main draw card of the deck, and no matter what, you just plus with this card. Because its cast cost is put a soul from a card on your field into the drop zone. Now in this deck, that's very strong because we revolve around stuff going from the soul to the drop zone. So when you activate the when you pay its cast cost, you put the top card into the gauge and draw two. Now, normally, a good play would be just do that, and so, say you have some on the field, you get rid of him for the soul, so you gauge, draw two, and then he's called, this one's called, and then you just draw another, so you're just plussing no matter what. Next we play Demon Way, Akashigure. Its cast cost is pay one gauge. You put the top two cards of the deck into the drop zone, and then draw, and then if you have ten or more cards in the drop, you draw another. It's just another card that just you just keep drawing, keep drawing, and just search for what you want. Hence why everything is just, like, hence why you can make the deck just so big. Next, we play four of Watchful Eyes. This this card has two effects. The first one is you can put the top two top card of the deck into the gauge and gain two life. But and then the other effect is if it's taken from the soul and put it into the drop zone, you just gain three life. So it's just it's. Probably one of the strongest cards in the deck, just because if you have like, you can just keep constantly gaining life, gaining life, gaining life, gaining life. Yeah, you can be like the weeaboo in the show and go up the tournament. Yeah, you can do that. Jordan. Next, we play four Ninja Arts Snake Gaze. We play four mainly for the fact of in its ca well, its cast cost is pay one life. And in this deck, that's basically nothing at all, because we just keep racking and gaining up life like it's nothing. So, 
It's a counter, rust a monster on your opponent's field. And so, like, one of the strongest plays to go against this is just using this, like, as many times as you can against bots. If you rest the bots, then they either have to waste the overturn or they just have to find another way to stand it. Yeah, I'm going to get the... Uh, Next, we play four underhanded means sneak attack. Its cast cost is put a soul from an Oni assassin on your field into the drop zone, and it is a counter destroy a card on your opponent's field. So you can destroy a set spell, you can destroy an item, you can destroy any monster, or you can just... Yeah, I'll get that to you. And once again, just like with the uh, Oni draw card, it's just a plus again because you're getting rid of a soul from one of your cards. So it'd be like... You could remove them so they also get minuses you could remove him because it, you could just get a draw card on that so like you're not wasting hands so like you're using one card to minus them and then you call another card just to get another card back so you're not minusing hand next we play four house of assassins only convoy this is one of the two sets in the game in the uh, deck so it is an act put a card from your hand down, face down into the soul of an Oni Assassin on your field. If you do, draw a card. You, may only, you can only do it once per turn. And you may only set one House of Assassin's Oni combo. This card really just sets the entire uh, deck in motion just because you can specifically put what you want into the soul just like you can with uh, Banquet of the Unrighteous. But you also get a draw in effect with it. So like... You're minusing your hand for a second and then just drawing another card. How are we not through this? It is a big deck. Because it has to be. So next we play four under the table. Under the table is the is the original uh, spell of two different effects. So if you cast it from your hand, you gauge two and gain one life. And if it goes from the soul to the drop zone, you gain three gauge. It is. That one I need more. It is the main gauge the production of the deck. And it, no, I need one more. It's really strong. Yeah, did you take all, all of that out of yeah, my body? You only have three. Okay. I'm to order one more. Uh, I need three. Next, we play two Art of Explosive Hades Fall. It's one of the main uh, like damaging sources in the deck, so you can pay one gauge and choose a card from your deck and put it into the soul of it. So, uh, one good play to do with that is to put in either a your buddy, just so that when they call it, they t take two damage, and then you can call another one. Or you can call the original Kitty Buki, blow up a monster, and then blow up, like, save it as Soul Guard. You can blow it up again and deal damage equal to its size. So it'd be like a size three. And so you'd be dealing five damage just from that one combo. I only need two of those. Oh, I was going to Next, we play four Skillbinder. It's a pay one gauge counter, rest a, mon rest a card with either penetrate or double attack on your opponent's field. So it's just another way to continuously make sure that they can't attack, and so that the more they can't attack, the more that he can't be destroyed. And the more that his effect goes off by, by blowing up their field. Next we play four Hidden Dark Arms, Yobi Katana. Oh my god, it's this. This item is a pay one gauge. Uh, when there's a card attacks and or deals damage to the opponent, uh, you can check the top four cards and choose an Oni Assassin on your field and choose one of the cards that you check and put it into the soul of that. The, the other three cards go to the bottom of the deck in any order you wish. It's a 6-1, and it is the main item you're going to want to equip in this deck, just because... Well, what can I say? Like, it also just, like, this deck, like, just circulates the deck into however you want to play it. So, like, if, if you want this specific card, you can check top four. Oh, hey, there it is. I can put it into the soul, and then sort however I want the deck, the bottom of the deck to be, so I know what's going to be coming up next. 
And then finally, for impacts, we play four Dark Skill Eerie Wailings. The cast cost for it is Pay 2 Gauge, and you can choose one of the following two abilities. One is choose an Oni Assassin on the field and put up to two cards from your deck into its soul face down. The other effect is counter, put all souls from all cards on the field and just into the drop zone. So if you do that, you just can call everything, you can call anything. So say like, you know, you have a monster. So say you like attack, 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 and each one of those cards has a soul in it. You can cast this at a counter cast and you can just recall everything. So then you get like three more attacks that turn. Anyway, so that was the deck profile. Thank you for watching.